Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. It's, what time is it? 7.42. I have an appointment at 8 a.m. at Dry Bar just to get a blowout. Ben and Tommy went and got me Starbucks this morning while I was showering, which is so nice. Also, the parking, if you guys know Scottsdale Corner, there is never any parking, so it's so nice to come before everybody gets here. for myself and for Ben today. Um, so we're basically just going to be working on house projects today. He loves playing with the Roo by the way. Um, but Tommy's party, his birthday party, his first birthday party is next Saturday. So we just have today and tomorrow to do all of the things that I want to get done to the house and the yard um, before the party, just because Ben's super busy during the work week, so he really doesn't have any time at all. So that's what we're going to be doing this weekend. And the first thing that I'm going to do is wash this furniture with my new vacuum that I got, that one right there. Um, so I'm actually going to wash this furniture and then post it for sale on Nextdoor. Um, I have new furniture that's being delivered on Monday. So if you guys can see the um, love seat and this bench and this chair are super worn from the dogs because Beck loves sitting in this furniture and like watching out the front window. There you can see it pretty well. Like the cushion and then the back there um, is just super dark and yeah. This chair, she actually doesn't sit in at all. Like nobody's ever sat in this chair. So this one I'm gonna keep as an accent chair and put it in the master bedroom. But this one I'm gonna wash, I'm gonna wash these and see how they turn out. And I'll either post them for free or post them for sale. It depends how they turn out. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Also, this furniture right here is from Article. And my new furniture is actually from Article as well. Um, and they have really cute, really affordable stuff and they always have sales as well. So if anybody wants the links, let me know. I love this furniture. I think it's so adorable and I would keep it if I didn't have any pets. Um, but I just didn't realize how quickly it was going to look bad with the dogs. So I got a uh, leather furniture for this spot instead. So if you guys have been around for quite a while, you know that we had a leather couch at our old house in Michigan. And that one did really well with the dogs. Um, I used these leather cleaning wipes on it basically every day and I would just vacuum the couch. Um, and it was perfect, like no stains, no nothing. So since Beck loves to sit here and like guard the front door and front window, um, I got leather so that she can sit on it and, you know, not ruin it. So that's why I'm changing. But yeah, I do think this furniture is adorable. Okay, so you just fill it to there with the formula and then to there with the water. I actually put a sweatshirt on because it's so cold today. It's 90, but it's been overcast all day. I think it's starting to cool down here. I'm gonna vacuum it first.
This is like the dirty water bin. So you put the clean water and the formula over here. I personally did hot water. Um, and then this is the dirty bin. How disgusting is that? That is so gross. But the vacuum works really well. So if anybody wants the link to it, let me know. I got it on Amazon for the vacuum and the formula. It was 140, um, but it works super well. So, if you want to wash your furniture, I definitely recommend. I'm going to take the sheets and the bedding and everything off and wash it, and then put the mattress up. That way I can do the whole backboard there. Please ignore the messy garage, but I think I did a really good job cleaning the furniture. It looks really good, actually. It was super dark before from Beck sitting on it. I don't know if you guys can tell. But anyway, I posted it on Nextdoor, and I've literally had 40 plus people message me asking if they can come pick it up. So someone is on his way to come grab it, which is so nice. But yeah, I think it looks really good, actually. And I do think this furniture is adorable. Um, I would keep it if we didn't have dogs, but I'm really not interested in vacuuming it and like <laughs> washing it with the upholstery washer and all of that like every other day because the dogs sit on it. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. are going to run to the store um we need to go get some spray paint which i'll show you guys what we're going to use that for later and then i also need a new plant for my planter in front of the front door um i'll show you guys it before obviously but it's really dead um and we're going to get a new plant for it and also ben is going to put um an irrigation line to it that way it can get watered every morning and every evening with the rest of the plants Placing. Um, I just got asparagus fern, which is what's currently in there. Um, asparagus fern does really well in the heat and in the sun here. The only thing is I forgot to water it for about two months, so that's why it died. 
but Ben's actually gonna hook up irrigation to it. Um, all of our other outdoor plants have irrigation, so they all get watered every morning and evening. If you can see like that little black sprinkler right there. Um, so he's gonna run irrigation to it, like up behind it, so you can't see it. Um, so that'll be really nice if it get watered twice a day. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna put these new guys in there. Okay, next project, I'm gonna have Ben take these down. Um, I think one is the doorbell, and then the other one I think might be part of the old alarm system, but I'm not sure. Um, but either way, we don't use them, so I'm gonna have him take them down, and then we'll just fix the wall and paint it. This is the um, control panel for the old security system that we're going to take down. And then, what do you think about moving the new control panel there? <laughs> what do you think? decided to keep the doorbell but we did take that cover off and washed it and then painted it agreeable gray which is the wall color um, and then we did take down the old alarm so you can kind of tell well you can definitely tell where the old control panel used to be for the old security system but it's okay because eventually Ben's gonna move the new control panel there for me um, I wanted it there initially also, that noise is just tea playing in the dark water. Um, I wanted it there initially, but the security system tech couldn't put it there because of like electrical reasons. So anyway, that doesn't look amazing, but it's okay because the new control panel is gonna go in that same spot eventually. Also, I forgot to vlog this, but Ben put some new hooks in the closet for me. So previously I just had that hook there but now I have three more, so everything's nice and organized. Also, completely forgot to show you guys the before, but Ben changed out the light fixture for me in the master closet. Um, I actually bought this ages ago, but we just got around to doing it. Um, I got it from Amazon, and it was actually really cheap. I think it was like $40. So it's matte black, the base, and then it's bamboo, and I think it looks really cute, so if anybody wants a link, let me know. I am actually going to head to the gym now just to get a quick workout in. Um, it is 83 degrees out, you guys. This is so crazy. It's 7 p.m. and it's 83. I cannot remember the last time it was 83. Like, it hasn't even been 83 during the night. Like, it's been so hot during the night as well. Um, so it feels so cold out. <laughs>
two down for the night, but I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Sorry this vlog was a little bit boring, but we really didn't do much today aside from poke around the house. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Good night.